Hi everyone, I'm so excited to finally be able to do this restock video for you because you have been waiting and I have worked quite hard to get these done finally. Um, so basically they will be available uh, to purchase on my Etsy Alona Creates on the 7th of July at 5 p.m. GMT. So these have sold out within I think half an hour it was or less than an hour I don't remember now but it was something very very quick and I didn't expect it. I think it was half an hour and it was a decent number of um, sets that were up for sale so make sure if you really want to get them this time and you missed out on the first um, set or the, f the first um, make then make sure you set an alarm for that date. Um, a few people have asked me whether the pink chiffon will be also restocked but no the uh, shimmery colors they will be limited edition and I will be making a few colors that will be new and if you get them you get them if you don't then I'm afraid you won't be able to um, to repurchase them or purchase them at a later time because they are limited edition. I'm just playing around and creating colors that, uh, you know, I think are quite interesting. So this one has been sold out and it's not coming back, but the palette that is, is the Tropical palette. Um, you will get a uh, swatch card but of course it won't be swatched so the space will be empty for you to do your own swatches in case you wanted to rearrange the colors um, and do it your own way so you have the freedom to do that but that's basically uh, what the palette will look like. I have done some new swatches and played around there's something else in this page which I can't reveal just yet, but it will be coming probably in a few weeks time, in a month's time. I'm hoping end of July, maybe even later, but we'll see how it goes. So what else will be available um, in my Etsy shop with the restock? So just to let you know about these two palettes here that I have swatched out. The Lip and the Cheek was my first ever palette that I ever made, my handmade own handmade watercolors and then earthy tones was the second one so the one before tropical palette and I might um, remake the earthy tones simply because I have um, enough pigments for this one uh, for this the exact pigments I will not be repurchasing because I found um, other pigments that I prefer using and so this will not come back as it is now I might kind of tweak it a little bit and create a different palette with similar colors but it never will be the same uh, this I could remake at some point so there, there might be a restock uh, but this palette I'm hoping to kind of do a restock every few months um, so the next restock for this palette, if you want to uh, get your hands on it, uh, will probably be somewhere in September when my son will start school. And um, I'm not doing any more um, color make making watercolor pigment work uh, this summer. I'm taking a bit of a break from it. And also I'm out of two pigments, which um have not been back in stock where I bought them so depending on when I can get my hands onto that pigment uh, or the two pigments used in in this palette then I um you know can can make this palette but just to let you know it's sort of indefinite but the plan is that I will be restocking this palette and hopefully it will be available so if you love it very much you will be actually able to go back and buy um, you know more of it as a um, backup or something like that because I know for myself these are quite unique very special colors which I absolutely adore and I myself don't want to have just one off palette and never be able to repurchase it because I believe it's that good so enough about that the other thing that will be available in my shop is something um, I have been kind of experimenting with making these little dishes now you know my love for these um, stackable kind of dishes and these are quite heavy and they're quite sort of um, 
you know, difficult to take with you on the go simply because of the heaviness. But these are nice and light because I found this um, air dry clay, I think it's called. So it's very lightweight and it dries very quickly. You don't need to prove it in the oven. You don't need to do anything like that. So what I have experimented with is kind of different styles and I prefer, so there's there was this organic looking one and one that looks like a little dish and I prefer this one because it's thicker so as it is air dry clay I don't know I mean it feels hard it's sort of not really feeling like it could crack um, but I wonder if, if that would sort of drop on a tiled floor or something like that could it break um, as easily as something that's ceramic um, so I decided to make it thicker just to make it even more durable. It feels nicer as well because it's thicker. Um, but I was playing with the designs and I have these two to show to you now. Um, which I am thinking I will keep this shape of the, of the dish but I'll probably go for this design. I really like it. I think it looks so neat and um, I don't know. Let me know what you think, but I personally prefer this one. And yeah, so these will be available to buy um, in my shop together with this restock. And speaking of the uh, pink chiffon, I have two new colors to substitute <laughs> pink chiffon. This one is called... So this one is called Mermaid Pearl and this one is Hibiscus Pearl. So I will swatch them out for you now. Uh, these are very, very dense on micas and they were very kind of complicated to create because I put three different color groups in both of these to create a very kind of deep and unique color. And um, yeah, even if I try to recreate this, I would not be able to do it because I just worked quite hard on these um, concoctions. So let's just um, see how easy they are revat. This one was super easy to revat, but it was a different type of a mica powder. So basically, as always, just drop a little drop into or on top of them, of the shimmery colors. And... Yeah, there's no problem. I mean, they're freshly kind of made, so they shouldn't take too long. So I designed these colors with obviously tropical palette in mind. Um, and that means that they can be used very well with it. Obviously, hibiscus is a beautiful color that you will find on a beautiful tropical island. And um, who doesn't fancy mermaids? I mean, you know, <laughs> I haven't met a single person on YouTube who doesn't keenly talk of mermaids. So let me just dry these for you and we'll come back in a second just to see what they look like when they're fully dried. But here they are still wet. So you can see lovely shimmers okay so I have dried it now and hopefully you can see that you can still achieve these beautiful watercolor effects um, as you would do with regular watercolor so these sort of uh, cauliflowers and blends if you wanted to so like I added um, the water to create those and you could do the same obviously with this color I just didn't do it um, on this swatch and those are the colors. So this would be a pretty kind of like a, you know, like fish scales or mermaid scales. You could mix them in with the other um, four colors to create lovely tones and shades and things like that. So yeah, they could be used on their own and in um, combination with other colors as well. So that's it for today. I hope you will be able to get the set this time if you haven't first time and you will enjoy it and all of that. So make sure you tag me on social media, Instagram Aleona Creates and share your love. So I thought what I'll do is just show you um, how you can also blend them together. Actually, let me use one of my palettes to show you. And 
think I'm going to stick them here just for now like I said they are um, they will be separate they don't come in the palette so you can buy them purchase them separately okay so I'm going to use the the back side of the card and basically what I want to do is oop, I'm going to put some of this beautiful color on one end like so and then get some of it onto my plate and then I have also this so the first one was mermaid pearl and the second is hibiscus pearl and let's see what happens if we mix the two together So you can create more colors in between those two and if you have the pink chiffon then you can add even more um, of the shimmer into each of them so make it even stronger um, if you wanted to and then of course you can try um, mixing this blue with the black or any other color from the palette or any of your other watercolors in fact why not so that is it i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching see you soon